Hi everybody, welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix. You see me around me now, a lot of painting on walls. Various depictions straight from the source, from the hearts of various men and women, soul creatures, and brethren, and straight and extended out into the world of form for all of us to see and feel, make our own meaning of, be inspired, all of that. Now, I want to talk about art, because I haven't really touched on it, but it's a very, I think, crucially, crucial and essential part of life, and a rich life, a fulfilling life. Art, you know, if you compare like, the opposite of art, is science, right? And science is all about functionality and utility and measuring things and figuring out the processes of things and the ins and outs and understanding how things work so that we can better make that things work for us and uh, make life easier, make various technologies and control certain elements in a way that makes it is more convenient for us to achieve our aims, you know, various tools that are made to assist us in our tasks, etc, etc. Science deals with functionality and utility. You know, so we can make material progress and ease ourselves of the strain that we would need to, to, uh, to, to use the effort we'd need to use if it was just us without the help of technology. On the other side of the fence, you've got art. Now, as I just briefly touched on with science, you know, we know that that, that helps and the, the material world makes things go smoother and easier and it can be rewarding and entertaining as well. Um, but I think us, you know, what's, what's the meaning of art and what is the role that art plays in our life? So, you know, I see a lot of things in the city imitating art, you know, various structures that seem like they were made on a conveyor belt or some greatest machine made of spawn of science and, you know, like giant cactuses that they spent millions on, um, down in the in the forest forest chase area of Perth, Western Australia, and there's various you know structures are all around the place with plastic and metal, with jagged edges or perfectly rounded edges, uh, not no you know just perfectly rounded, and I think is that art? I mean, really everything is art. You know, a mop bucket just left there on, on the the mop floor, even that's art. You know, if it's a museum, especially and the, the janitor forgets his bucket, it suddenly becomes a piece of artwork. It's really, art is all about perspective. It's about how one looks at something and appreciates it and what it means to them. So I guess, technically speaking, all these various contraptions and various creations are sterile, as they may seem to me. Technically, can still be seen as art. Now, the reason I say sterile, and I don't really consider them to be on par with this kind of art, in, in, in terms of its richness and vibrance, the difference is that, you know, all those things made of machine, there was no heart involved, there was no soul. And the question is, can art exist without soul? Or better yet, you know, can the creation of art exist without soul? I mean, art, art can exist with, you know, even if it was born from a machine, we give it life, we give it meaning, we turn it into art because we are the ones with the souls relating to the artwork and being stirred and feeling something. So we make an artwork, but I, I don't consider it true art unless it was born of soul as well as being appreciated by soul. You know, when an artist takes his hand and the paintbrush in his hand and he's painting something, or the poet with a pen in his hand or even his keyboard is writing directly from his source. You know, beautiful stanzas capturing all things, lily pads and rainbows, you know. Or when uh, a clay, clay sculptures are designed from the hand, or any kind of art, even rolling a cigarette, even martial arts, you know, it's all about taking what's in here and extending it out into the world of form. And that's the idea that if it's born of soul and of heart, then it allows other people, other creatures with the same soul and with their hearts and their own minds and ways of relating to everything. It allows them to gaze into it and connect to the artist. Not the machine, but the artist. It allows them to connect to what they were portraying, 
demeaning that they imbrued, but in their own way, and it allows them to be inspired and to realize or have an epiphany, you know, to, it, it allows them to create their own meaning, their own sense of meaning when staring at the art. And that's something science, science doesn't really touch on, it doesn't really provide. Science is a means to make things easier, to facilitate, you know, like I said, utility and function, and the progress and effectiveness and efficiency of these things. But art is what gives meaning to life. Art is what gives color to life and depth and richness. Without art, to make you cry, to make you smile, to make you stand in awe or to realize, then it doesn't matter how much more efficient and effective we become in function and utility. What's the point of this contraption of this massive conveyor belt and this system with all our cogs doing our jobs all the quicker and more effectively if it means absolutely nothing? And if we start feeling less and less, and if we start caring less for art and art. You know, I think about the cactus that they make that costs millions. If they set up an art school, that would have probably cost around the same amount, if not less, where people can actually come in and use various re materials and resources to create their own art, like a community free, or maybe pay a small fee to come in and use the materials. People can actually generate art from the heart and then share it with the community and stick it up everywhere instead of building a fucking stupid cactus. And I'm going to stick a picture in here just to show you how fucking stupid this thing is. I'm going to find out how much it costs. And then we can realize, instead of taking a scientific approach to art, if we actually thought with our heart, we probably could have used that money a whole lot more effectively. You know? Now anyway, that's my food for thought. You know, with all our science, things are done with greater ease. But what's the point of doing things that are being done if it doesn't mean much? What's the significance of that? You know, you can't remove art from life. Because art is life. Everything else is just a means. And that's the only reason we should try and understand all that stuff. Just because it's a means. You know, if you're a racer, sure it matters understanding your vehicle and optimizing its performance. But really, if you're racing, where are you going? And why?